I moved to Fresno when I was three months old, when my parents adopted me. So I um, grew up here, went to Lafayette Elementary, uh, Centennial Elementary, Sierra Junior High, McLean High School, and then I came out here to then Fresno State College. I rolled raisins for two days and got the 49 bucks for my student fees, so people will hate to hear that now, but that's what it cost in 1966. 49 bucks got me in and books were, you know, $10 was an expensive book, so it was a lot easier to go to school then, a whole lot easier. I was an English major. I'd look at the catalog and there were all these wonderful things, so it was the beginning of what has been a, a pattern of lifelong learning. I mean, I, you can't stop learning and there's just too many interesting things. So, so I managed to get out in four years. My business model is making Monday the best day of the week. So, you know, we don't say TGIM, right? We, you know, the, the line that people say is, thank God it's Friday, I get to go away and stop doing this thing. And what a tragedy that is, you know, what a tragedy. Here we're, the place we spend most of our lives, most of our conscious lives is at work. First motto of my business is making Monday the best day of the week. And the second one is just make a difference in what you're doing, make a positive difference in what you're doing. You know, there's the story of the glass, is it half empty or half full? And, and some people say it's half empty and they go around grumpy because they're it's the end of their life or whatever. And some people say it's half full and isn't this cool? And, and I, my belief is that it's completely full all the time. You know, a temple of truth in a, in a time when everybody is challenging the existence of facts. And here, you can really find out what's true. And you have people who will help you find that out. People called librarians. I never, I thought, I didn't know what they did but put books on stacks, but they have these incredible resources. So Peter asked me if I'd be willing to help with the friends. I thought, well, yeah, I should do that. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it. We bring programs in for folks who are the friends of the library and, and help with that. And that's been fun. But also just, just talking about the library and the community and, and representing it and, and, and reminding people how important it is that it's here. To those who much is given, much is required. And I think that really is true. So, and, the, and the, for those of us who are older, the olders, who have maybe time and maybe money and maybe not so much energy, but well, you can buy a little energy, um, you know, are we investing back in the community? Because I, I plan on staying here and I want it to be the kind of community I'm proud of. Mm -hmm.